wasn't a tough sell at all because it evolved and it evolved here at Vertigo. It was um, all I came to them with was literally that. I want to do a monster movie set years down the line. I'll do the effects very cheaply and we can shoot it. I can shoot it myself. We can shoot it very guerrilla, you know, and that will add to the realism of it all. And they were like, great, okay, let's do it. Millions have been evacuated. new life form. He's mysterious. Quarantine. I was trying on in my head loads of different scenarios for a first time film. And like, for me, things like monster movies and alien invasion wasn't out of the question because of all the digital effects that you could add. So it became this kind of like monster movie, road movie, love story thing. And for me, it was really important that they all connected and it wasn't just three different films. <laughs> Have I broken into the film industry? I don't know if I have. It's, it's like, you never feel like you have. And as someone told me the day, there's never that moment where, so you meet other filmmakers who have broken into the industry, and they'll all tell you there's never this glory moment where they are now officially there and it's all fine. There's always this perception of like, if your next film fails, you're out. In simple terms, pick up a camera, go make a film show people that's every time I've done that my career has progressed a little bit so there's no replacement for just doing stuff like not talking about it not planning it but just go off and do something generally it's very important that people who who want to support independent filmmaking, that they go see the film on the opening weekend. On a Monday after the, after the opening weekend, the cinemas decide whether they're gonna keep the movie or not. If there hasn't been enough box office, they drop it. So if you wanna support independent filmmaking and you see a film you like the look of, I mean, the best way you can support it is go that Friday or Saturday, go see it there. And don't wait for it on DVD, don't, you know, because that, that's the best way to support independent films.